What's going on, Port fans? Welcome back to another video on my channel, and today we'll be previewing Showdown 44, Port Adelaide versus Adelaide for Round 8 this weekend at Adelaide Oval for Port Adelaide's home showdown at 4.40pm SA time. So let's get into it and see what, exactly what's going to happen this weekend. It's showdown week, one of the biggest weeks in footy for South Australian footy fans. It's going to be one almighty clash this weekend at Adelaide Oval, which I think a lot of power fans are very nervous about, and so are Crows fans as well. We haven't won a showdown for the past five showdowns. It's since 2015 where we last got the Crows um, in a very good game of footy. So it's always a Port fan's dream to beat the Crows. Um, every single time we play. It doesn't always happen. Hasn't happened for the last five times. Besides that point, this week is a must win for our club in terms of the season. Not only because we need to beat the Crows for a showdown victory, but to set us up really well going into the bye because we cannot go 4-4 four and four after all the recruiting and all of the strategic um, tinkers we've done with our game plan to make it a premiership winning game plan. And it's just not showing at the moment with the recruits and our form as a club and um, all the players, injuries keep popping up. Um, we just don't have the mentality to push and keep going. And after last week's dreadful performance against the West Coast Eagles, it's now time to stand up. And this week, what a perfect way to do it. In front of a packed house at Adelaide Oval, in front of 50,000 people against your arch rivals. No better way to show that you are, we are Port Adelaide. Because that's, you've got to play Port Adelaide footy this week. And that's the number one thing I put in my list. Play Port Adelaide footy this week. Play at the contest. Win the contest. Win your own ball. Your hard ball gets. We were smashed last week. And every time we seem to play the Crows, that's where we get hurt is in the contest. We've got to have our big name players at the contest every single time. With our outside runners producing some run as well. That's where we'll break the Crows going from the contest, breaking away with speed and hitting our targets. Clean, efficient footy. That's that's the only way you can beat them, is beat them at their own game. And that's how you're going to do it at the contest. So uh, the big question is, can we please win a showdown? I haven't won one for the last five. The ledger just sits at 22-21. The Crows way now after us leading it for so long. They've won the past five. And it's just... It sucks. Especially after the last one we played where we absolutely got our pants pulled down. We were flogged at the contest in dreary conditions. Um, and this is the game that we need to stand up. It, it, the script is ready to be finished, basically. Tough week in the media. We've been drilled from pillar to post for our poor performance. Deserved, mind you. And now you come to the showdown where we haven't won the last five we've been smashed in two of those and we've been our own enemy in those contests as well because we haven't been up to standard with our skills goal kicking at one stage and winning at the contest those are the three things we've got to do this week looking into the game a bit deeper and as i keep saying you've got to win the contest and what i mean by that is in the midfield at the stoppages center bounces throw-ins all of these contests that you know, a 50 50 at the ball, you've got to win those 50 50s, get those hard ball gets. The midfield is crucial this week. Players like Ollie Wines, Robbie Gray, Pollock on the outside, Sam Powell Pepper if he comes in, Rockcliffe if he comes in as well, Brad Evert's got to be crucial in there, Motlop with his pace if he goes into the middle. All these players got to stand up and really dig deep into the contest. Hard body on body, one on one footy. That's what's going to win this week. And that's the sort of game play we've got to have when playing against the Crows, who are, we know, yeah, we hate them, but they are a good footy side. And with players like Sloan and Walker coming back this week, these are the types of situations where they're basically nearly full strength. They've had a, quite a few um, hamstring injuries as of late, but they've got their key players in, Crouch. Uh, they've got, they'll have Sloan and Tex Walker come back. Their tall forward line, it looks to be good weather on the weekend. It's going to come into play, which will hinder um, how we structure down back as well. Do we go that more team defence style where we clog up their run and they are forced to bang long and create contest after contest? Or do we give them a, that space, but we match up really well so our defenders can help each other out 
and really defend really well like we did against North Melbourne where it was a team defence against Ben Brown and we just took the ball and ran with it and really took the game on. That's another thing too. Does Tom Cleary come in to the side? Because, you know, the Crows look set to have... I mean, obviously they might drop Fogarty. Who knows? But at the end of the day, they're still going to have probably Tex. They're going to have Jenkins. They're going to have Lynch. They're going to have McGovern. That's four. Four players that are tall and agile. And we've got Dougal Howard, Jack Homps, Tom Jonas. You'll probably have Westhoff Rome down back as well. That DBJ's down there. Bonner, Houston. All these running players along with the tools. They don't quite match up. So does Cleary come back into the side? It's another interesting point. I think he does for Pittard, just for structure. Pittard obviously coming back for one game. But mind you, he didn't have the best game. So you've got to really go for structure, not give a bloke a game just because he looks like he's going to get back into form. You don't do that. You play on form. And Tom Cleary, even though he wasn't in form, plays better in this kind of structure. And that's what we're going to look at this week. As I keep saying, got to win the contest. The midfield is crucial. The defence line is another key thing. A run from half back is crucial this weekend. Players like Bonner, Houston, even um, if Sam Gray's running from defence, our run from our midfield has got to be two ways this week. Really dig deep and play aggressive and really work hard. That's what we can't be one way players. We've got to be two way players this week. Defence and attack. Really run, make our transition work. And that's as, that's exactly what's going to happen um, if we have our mindset right, which is another key thing this week. I mean, that's another question I want to bring up too. Do we play big games of footy? Do we play well in big games of footy? I don't, I don't know. I don't think we do. I don't think we can handle the pressure. And this week, it will test us again. Pressure from the media, pressure from the club, pressure from the supporters... And you're playing against your arch rivals out alone is four different pressure pressure situations we've got to handle in our head. It's a big ask, but leaders like Boke, Ebert, Westoff, Jonas, Dixon, all gotta stand up this week. Ollie Wines. All our leadership group, stand up, take the rest of the team with you. We don't want the passengers on the disappointment flight like last week. We want the happy happy flight. You know, the one that flies over the Adelaide Oval watching the Crows get uh, swallowed into their swamp. Another big thing, too, in the midfield is Ryder must contain Jacobs. I feel that Jacobs absolutely dominated um, Ryder last time. Jacobs um, also did it last year. Ryder's got to... Uh, the first game of last year is what I meant. Um, so Ryder's got to really dictate the ruck and really make it his own. Jacobs is a little bit older now. Ryder's still got the spring in his step after coming back last week. He's now fully prepared this week. No excuses. So Paddy Ryder's got to really give our midfield some um, the first access to the ball and really get that run going from the middle and clearances are all important. We seem to do well in clearances. So even if we're losing the tap, we seem to get it away with Ollie Wines being the number one clearance player uh, for Port Adelaide. So that's a big, big, pivotal moment as well. So moving on. Um, to changes for the week, uh, obviously this is being filmed pre-selection, um, so I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen, but I feel the two main ones that are going to come in are Rockliffe and Sam Power Pepper, purely for that contest, hard, aggressive um, playing style that they have. We missed that last week, got to have them in this week. It's just um, a no-brainer. Other players as well looking at uh, selection, Chad Wingard looks maybe he might be a sneaky chance to come in. That will be good for some Ford Craft as well, another opportunity um, for maybe for be Jack Trengove. So um, that'll be interesting to see how the selection panel go with that one. And out, mm, I'm not sure who's going to be dropped. I think uh, the most likely ones will probably be Amon, Need, uh, Barry, throw a few, a few names in there. Pittard might be an off chance to go as well. Cleary might come into the side. Um, yeah, it's going to be all down to see exactly. But we're going to really be aggressive at selection. That's what's going to get us... Um, it's a pivotal moment for Ken Hinckley this week. Now, let this um, get your goal passes out. Strong selection. Really get those um, positions right, and that's you know a massive step to winning this week's game. We look at predictions for the week. Um, I'll give you my medalist, and I'll give you the prediction. So I think Port Adelaide will win the game. I feel that we're going to bounce back this week. Home showdown, finally going to win a showdown after all these years, basically. Uh, we'll win by nine points. It'll be a very close game. Um, with a very high-scoring game too, since the weather looks pretty good. 
Um, and the showdown medalist will go to Stephen Motlop. I reckon he's going to have a good game of footy this week. Really stand up and show the supporters why we picked him up. 25 possessions and 3 goals. That's my prediction. Comment below your predictions, Port fans. Let me know what you think of this week's game. Um, do you think we're going to get the chance um, to win? How much we'll win by if we do? Comment your prediction below. So that wraps up this preview, Port Adelaide fans. This is going to be a big showdown this week. Big opportunity to take our um, ledger to 5-3. and three. It's against the Crows. We've got to win a showdown. It's been five showdowns since we've won one. So yeah, let's hopefully get the job done this week. Big crowd, get down, make sure you... You are there, ready to support the boys. Get across the line. I'll certainly be there. It's Showdown 44. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Thank you very much for tuning in, Port fans, and everyone on Spreaker as well for tuning in. Obviously, if you can't watch me on YouTube, you can listen to me on the go on Spreaker, brought to you by Port Fan Radio. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for plenty more Port Adelaide content coming on a weekly basis, preview, reviews, um, vlogs, and everything else in between. All Port Adelaide content, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And that's it. Make sure you tune in to the Porch Podcast at the every Wednesday. My name is Anthony Portland, and as always, come on, man.